hi today we will discuss the analysis of continuous beam if the support B sinks by the 10 mm okay use the displacement method take EI 6000 kilo Newton per meter square use here stiffness matrix method okay by using stiffness matrix method we need to find the you know, uniform I mean sorry, we need to find the pending moment diagram okay we need to solve this equation before that we need to find the degree of freedom okay this is the displacement method we know that stiffness matrix method is a displacement method so we need to find the first of all degree of freedom so we had a two degree of freedom so where it is a theta at the theta a sorry it b theta c so if theta a is zero due to fixed support theta and uh, d also zero because fixed support we had know that theta b and theta c are the unknowns then we need to place the boundary condition here theta a equal zero due to fixed support theta b equal to theta b theta c equal to theta c and theta d equal to zero because fixed support next we need to select the coordinates okay we need to select the coordinates so we know that with these two are the unknown places so i can say that this is the uh, selection coordinate one and coordinate two okay so we know that the major assumption in the fixed end moment condition for displacement method so we need to find the displacement method fix it uh, so we had a, a b member b to c member c to d member we had a three members we need to find the fixed end moments okay fixed end moments so we know that a b sink a b sink at a distance of b sink at a distance of 10 mm we know that b sink at a distance of 10 mm okay b sink at a distance of 10 mm so there is no external loading condition so fixed end moment is becomes a 6 cei by l square minus 6 cei by l square so our assumption is here take uh, our assumption is one end is fixed uh, and far end is settled below the support uh, below the support take it as a positive data below the support I take it as a positive data with respect to left end okay with respect to left end so here I got a positive delta so it's positive delta and 6 a by l square is delta so it will become minus 80 we know that I we know I we know E I we know E I we know L square I means L we know so I got it and B A similarly positive delta because this is a AB member and B to C okay B to C our end is left our end is sorry our end is right but our sediment is down toward the with respect to the right so here negative okay here 90 so nailed in minus to minus plus so i got 56.25 a similar 56.25 there is no settlement in c to d so here fixed and moment condition is zero next real forces due to the nodal forces are nodal members we know that uh, there is no nodal forces are nodal moment then the p uh, equal to zero zero and real forces due to the external loads we need to find the real forces due to the external load we had a unknown places of here we had a check here we had unknown forces here so what is this this is fixed end moment of b to a and fixed end moment of b to c so fixed end moment of b to a and fixed end moment of b to c and next place is next place is what is the at C condition, at C can fixed end moment of C to B and fixed end moment of C to D. Okay, we know that fixed end moment of C to B, C to B and fixed end C to D, C to D is zero. C to D, fixed end moment of C to D, but C to D is zero. The, okay, we will get this uh, real process. Next, we need to take the uh, after we need to find the stiffness matrix. Okay, our aim is to find stiffness matrix. Okay, we need to find the stiffness matrix. We need to find the stiffness matrix. So first of all, we take it as a 
unit for supply at a distance means at a point of one so here i point one we need to check the roadwork condition for the since uh, theta a equal to zero theta b equal to one and theta c equal to zero and theta d equal to zero okay this is very important condition before that we need to check to check to difference uh, the stiffness of matter mention sorry uh, the stiffness equations okay so k11 displacement at 1 and force at 1 okay and that in way k n11 dimension force at 1 it causes displacement around into like like this suppose k k force at 1 and displacement at 1 okay and comma force at the same 1 displacement at 2 like the reverse you need to write reverse okay here k11 equal to k11 k b a b to a and b to c and uh, k21 and uh, b to a sorry this is c no c to b and c to d okay here we got uh, same condition since here is the same condition when you to apply we will get k11 equal to 5.167 a k21 equal to how much 1.25 a Next, uh, ap apply the displacement at 2 at here, and uh, the since the condition is only theta c equal to 1, rest of things is 0. Okay, then check, check here displacement force at 2 and displacement 1. Here, looking from here, so k b to a plus k b to c, this condition, we will get 1.25 a and k 2 to k 2 to means displacement at 2 here and force at here so we will get a k c to b and k c to d from the equation very simple equations okay to form the matrix the stiffness matrix we form the stiffness matrix a k a delta equal to p minus p l okay from this equation it will go like this and uh, inverse of matrix we will get the inverse of matrix equal to theta b and theta c these are the two unknowns so delta delta is the angular displacements so get, to get the final equations we need to draw the equations in the slope reduction equation we will get the equations a b a b a b m b a m b c m c to d and m c to d and m d to c okay m d to c check here i got uh, m a to b is minus 69.613 so very simple here fixed support here is internal moment here is internal moment here also internal moment sorry here as a fixed end moment is there here as internal moment here as moment is there here as internal here as moment is sorry here as internal moment is there here as the fixed support here as the moment is there check here m a b minus 69.13 minus me indicating that we need to go anti-clockwise rotation so anti-clockwise rotation so i am saying that i will take like this i will take like this okay i will take like this okay so minus 69 minus 69 okay minus 69 here here to here then 59 ok and we to see next 33 hmm? and next we need to check how much mb to see mc to sorry sorry i need to calculate here so this is minus uh, 33 and minus 16 simple uh, rather like this okay okay and this is due to the settlement there is no external loading conditions so this is a loading condition there is no external loading condition okay thank you